Welcome back to the next episode of the SMB3 Warpless Seminar Series. Today's level will be 2-2, which is a little exciting because there's actually three ways to do this level. So let's jump right in. Depending on how you want to route SMB3 Warpless, keeping Fire Flower, or going for Early Hammer will change how we do this level. For this tutorial, I will show the more traditional way of doing Warpless and the route for World 2. But at the same time, I'm still going to show you the different ways of doing every level. Let's start with the way where you keep Fire Flower. So we enter the level with Fire Flower, and we'll want to run as close as we can to the hill before we jump. Not too close, or else we'll run into the hill and alter our speed. Use the last bush before the hill for the timing to start the jump. A lot like World 1 Level 2, you will slide down the hill creating speed and jump when you reach the bottom. Luckily the jump off the hill is one full big jump to a single tile brown block. From the single tile brown block, it's another full big jump, and as soon as you land on the upward hill, it's yet again another full big jump. So recapping that, once you slide and jump off the hill, you will be doing three full big jumps. Really easy start to the level. The third big jump will land you on the moving platform, but you'll want to jump off right away with a small jump and land on the green turtle. The jump off the turtle will be a full big jump landing you on the two blocks after the three coins. The visual cue jump for these blocks is roughly in the center. It will be okay if you're a little to the left or a little to the right, just take note if you are. Your jump off the two horizontal blocks will be to the next two vertical blocks, and just like World 1 Level 2, depending on your speed and position, you'll be doing a medium jump, and from there, another medium jump to the second last vertical blocks. Keep in mind though, that once you hit the first section of vertical blocks, you can make some jumps of your own to whatever feels comfortable for you. As seen in the video, you can small slash medium jump from the second last vertical block to the first flying green turtle, and then do a medium jump to the next green turtle. Note that if you watch the turtle jumps, you can see I'm positioned more to the left side of the turtles. That is so I don't bonk on the four vertical blocks at the end, and also gives me a chance to land on the flat ground as early as possible, letting me build more of my P speed. Once in the end pipe, it's standard level ending, much like what we have covered before. For fun, I can now show you alternate ways of doing this level depending on how you do warpless and compare the difference. I also have a video covering that early hammer thing I mentioned before. It could be a little complex, but it's good information for World 2. The link will be in the description below. This way is known as the hard way. It has been done in some runs before, but it can be so tricky and hard to do consistent, no runners really use it. But I will note, some runners have used this and have been able to do this in runs. We got the idea of doing this from the TAS video, which stands for Tool Assisted Speedrun. Tools allow people to play the game frame by frame and get the best and fastest outcome of which the game can be played. This trick is using the fireballs to kill the Goomba and obtain P-Speed at the start. The position of Mario and the timing of the fireballs must be so precise, we just don't go for it and run. It's not really worth it. But when we compare the video at the end, let's actually look and see if it really is worth it. Lastly, this is the way we would do 2-2 if we were grinding for early hammer. Early hammer causes us to take intentional deaths, so we don't need our fire flower anymore. So let's just take the damage here and do the level as fast as possible. We apply the same P-Speed concept as in the hard way to this way once we have taken damage. Neither this way or the hard way are required for warpless, but if you must learn it, here's the video to do so. Now, let's compare all three and see how cool it looks with the different strategies and which one is fastest. Thanks for watching episode 8, I hope you learned a lot. If you like what you saw, make sure to give a thumbs up and tap that subscribe button to know when episode 9 comes out. We will be doing World 2 Fortress. Thanks all, see ya!